within a, a couple of years after we, we put together a, a very intense operation, we were experiencing diseases, a lot of diseases. I spent half my day sometimes, you know, injecting pigs, treating them for various uh, respiratory and and uh, different types of diarrhea, and it was not not being a very it wasn't a very pleasant lifestyle. During a, a, that time, almost 15 years ago, the boar hog stabbed me in the kneecap with his tusk one day, and you know. A, tough farm boy that I was, you know, I you know, I basically took off my rubber boot and poured the blood out and I just went on about my, my duties. About um, two weeks later, my leg basically increased in about 50% of its size and it was throbbing. And that's when I went to the doctor. I contracted a, a strep infection. Uh, that was a, a mutated pharma strep. They treated they, you know, with first, you know, standard types of treatments, penicillin, uh, the tet tetracyclines, amoxicillin, the erythromycin, and the list went on. It did not phase my infection. And so, um, finally, uh, you know, I was, you know, I, they didn't have much faith that I would, uh, would, would even survive. <laughs> They put me in the hospital and gave me an, an, an IV of a, a new generation drug that saved my life. And what I was actually doing on my farm was basically feed a continual dosage of antibiotics just for growth rates uh, or to ward off a low-grade infection. Because when your best resource people tell you that this is a, you know, the magic drug to increase growth and efficiency, you, know, you, you adapt that. And um, uh, it's, it's very dangerous. You know, you, you kill off the weak strain, whether it be strep or some sort of E. coli, and then the strong ones survive and they multiply and, and mutate and become even stronger. And so you create an antibiotic resistant monster strain. I realized this whole thing about antibiotic resistance was, was so true.